Hello. Good morning, everyone. Am I audible? Please give me the confirmation. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Any one of you can give me the confirmation, please, in the chat box that I am audible or not. Mm. Hello, good morning, Sana. How are you doing, dear? Yes, ma'am. Thank you for the confirmation, Sana. And others, those who have given the confirmation in the chat box. Thank you, right? Thank you, Saumya. Okay, so we'll start our day two session three. Yesterday was the day one session for our batch 339, that is the and the trainer, Aisha. you can also consider it me as your friend related to the spoken English classes. First, we all are here for learning. I don't want any gap between me and my students while we are learning something new in our day-to-day -day classes. So, as you all know, we started yesterday the spoken English course. Batch number 329, I have already given you my information yesterday. But I can say few of the students are new. So again, I'm going to give my introduction for them. My name is Aisha Rice, your spoken English trainer. I have been working with the Logic Labs technologies as a spoken English trainer. I have five years of experience in teaching. I have done BA as well as MBA in English Literature. So, mail ID of the support is given on this screen. Any doubt you are having related to our Super English batch, you can directly message to the support. Okay. So, this is our batch that is started yesterday. Timings are 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. in the morning. Timings are not going to be changed, right? And the course fee is 1,652 INR. The course will be for four weeks. That is nothing but 30 days. Don't worry. Within 30 days, we're going to complete everything, whatever I promised you all yesterday. So, Maya is having a doubt. Ma'am, is there any bad except? Six a.m. Uh, yes, it will be there, uh, Sana. Not now, but in the month of August. That will start from eight p.m. But as of now, this batch is from six a.m. to seven a.m. in the morning time. Okay, upcoming batch. We will schedule, but not now, but in the month of August, we're going to do it. Yeah, so today is the day two. So day two recordings, again available on the YouTube channel of Logic Labs Technology. And it will going to update in the WhatsApp group as well. Those who have missed our yesterday session, guys. I have already given the link to you all to just go through the session. And if you have any doubt regarding our session, any queries you want to clear, you can clear right now in our today's class. Okay, I have given you two permissions. That is nothing but uh, chat permission as well as I have given you the permission related to the speaking as well. Yeah, Jayashree. If you want to do the communication, please check your mic because I can't hear you. Yes, ma'am. So these are the lots of class technology, social media. Whenever any job opportunities will be there, we will go into post in the Telegram group of Logic Labs technology. 
Yes, if you have given you the link again at the before the end of the session, I'll give you the link to join the social media of Logic Labs Technology. Okay, ma'am. So, yesterday we just discussed what is spoken English, how it is important, why it is important, why it is necessary for a person to learn communication skills that will be a part of a spoken English. Okay, that we have done already in our yesterday's class. So, again, as a recap, I want to give a short summary based on the thing which we started yesterday. So, what is a spoken English guys? It is a kind of conversation or else it is the ability to do the conversation with the another person. And whenever you are doing the conversation with the other person, make sure it will be easily understandable by the other person. Alone, you are seeing in the mirror, doing the conversation and you telling it as I am doing a conversation, I am doing the communication. No, it is only used for a practicing part, right? But when it comes to the, when it comes to the uh, practicing practically, it is related to doing the conversation with one person or more than one person. More than one person are nothing but doing the conversation in a group. And whenever you will do the conversation, right, make sure your words must be clear, easily understandable by the other person. What do you mean by easily understandable? Which means you have to use the correct grammar, you have to use the correct pronunciation of the word, you have to use the basic language, right? Okay. For example, you, are, you live in a native country. Okay, you are coming and doing the same thing here. Means in India, it's very difficult to understand because it's a mixture of two languages. Two languages, okay? British English and American English. By mixing these two, we are forming Indian English. So, India is not that much like a vast in English language. So, it will be difficult for them to understand. So, that is the thing, guys. Right? Whenever you are doing the conversation, make sure it should be basic. Clear. And conversation will be of two types, that is formal and informal. Again, what will come in the informal, what will come in the formal, we are going to discuss in our further upcoming classes. But as of now, today is the day two, so we will start with the very basics of English language. Okay, so if you have any queries, then... You can just raise your hand. Option is given. You can just raise your hand so that I can know which student is asking the query and I can help them uh, more clearly and effectively. Now, you know, guys, even if you are learning a mother tongue, knowing the basic of that language is very important. Same as English is also a language, guys. Right? Whenever you are learning English, it is important to know the basics of that language. Now, what will become in the basics of a language, any language, take the mother tongue, Telugu, or take Hindi, take Marathi, Gujarati. What it will come, it will first start with the letters, it will, then you will form the words, then you will form the sentences, then you will form the paragraphs with the sentences. So that is nothing but guys, we are going with the structure. We are going from basic to the uh, higher level. Okay, same as if you want to observe this kind of changes, guys, you can see a kid of four to five years old. What he will learn first, he will learn like ba, bu, bi, okay, like this. Then when he is growing slowly, like 10 years quick, they will start forming the sentences by their own, they will start forming the sentences as well as the paragraph. That is nothing but guys, knowing a language from basics to the higher level of higher level of language. So before we start it, uh, 
राहत श्रीक ओके राहत श्रीक प्लीज बी इन द क्लास टिल द एंड आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन इट ओके डोंट वरी अबाउट इट डोंट बी सैड प्लीज ओके नो इश्यूज आई एल एक्सप्लेन इन हिंदी एज वेल जस्ट लिटिल बी पेशेंट आई वॉन्ट ओके be happy please okay i don't want any of the students to be sad in my class so till the end be in the class i'm going to explain in hindi as well for you okay thank you welcome okay so before starting to the basics of our today's class this is the first question i want to ask my each and every student present in our class How many alphabets are there in English? How many alphabets? Because if you ask me the same question, I'll also say, "Ma, uh, ma'am, it is twenty-six." Because from the kindergarten till I grown up, or else my kid or kids are also going to school, they will also say the same thing. Mom, the uh, alphabet present in English is twenty-six. Or else, if my nephew or niece is going to school, they will also say like, uh, "Masi or uh, my uh, alphabet in the English is twenty-six." Now, what do you think, guys? Is it a correct answer? Like twenty-six is the correct number, or else anything else? What do you think? Tell me. Most of us, for example, here if the Thirty students are joined. So most of the ten students will going to say, or else we can say nineteen, or else twenty students. They will say, "Ma'am, the answer is twenty-six." What if I say the answer twenty-six is wrong? You always will like a shock, huh, ma'am? From the kindergarten, we are learning that twenty-six alphabets are there, ma'am. How suddenly you are changing, ma'am? How it is going to be possible, ma'am? Come on, ma'am. You all are making us some look something else. You making us fool. But the answer is correct, guys. That is, we don't have twenty six alphabets. We have twenty six letters. Alphabets and letters both are different. Okay. Now, if you ask me how, so twenty six are the letters, guys, that is present in an English language. That is from A to Z. Z is nothing but Z, guys. Pronunciation is changed. Z is now pronounced as Z. As English is a growing language, guys, you cannot say like math. The English language pronunciation or the spelling or the grammar rules will never going to change. No, it is a flexible one. It will going to change based on the uh, based on the growing terms. Not only English, guys. Your mother tongue will also change sometimes, right? When we was a child, we used to say something, uh, some other word. Now, when uh, when we are grown up, we will say some other words for a particular thing. So that is why saying English is also a like flexible language that will going to be changed according to the growing terms. Okay, now comes to the class that is twenty six. Letters will be there here. Alphabet is the name, guys. We have given to this twenty-six letters. Now, in a simple language, if I want to make it more simple for you to understand, for example, male, female. Okay, what is this male and female? This are the, for example, these are the alphabet. Now comes to the names. If, for example, names are names are Jayshree, Nilima, Rahat. ओके साबू साना साउमिया आयशा पावन राधिका एंड अदर व्हाट इज दिस दीज आर ऑल द लेटर्स व्हिच मींस इफ वी आर कमिंग टुगेदर वी आर वी कॉल एज फीमेल्स एंड मेल्स बट इफ यू आर इफ यू आर सीइंग इट सेपरेटली विद द नेम दैट विल बी कंसीडर्ड एज द लेटर्स हियर सो दिस विल बी द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द अल्फाबेट्स एंड द Letters that you must understand in a very simple manner. Clear. Now, these are the letters that we present in an English alphabet. Okay, these. Now, what is the purpose of showing this, ma'am? We are not the kids, ma'am. 
we know how how this works, we know this is A, B, C, D. Now, what does this mean, guys? This is the first step of every pronunciation. If you are a child, at that time, our teacher used to mug up this, right, to us. Telling like, you have to remember this, you have to mug up all this and all. Then, uh, from the kindergarten to first class, we will be like, very good in these uh, letters. So, whenever in the first class, teacher says that, like, write A, write T, write Z, we are going to write. So, this is the basis of the pronunciation. That step. we start with the pronunciation of letters in a correct manner. Okay. Now, how we will pronounce it? Let's see. Because I know few of the students will going to pronounce it like yal, yam, yan, yo. But this is a wrong pronunciation, guys. I know from where this pronunciation will come. Maybe your teacher was not a good in the English language, or maybe she's from another culture, uh, another language background. So she she's having a trouble in doing the pronunciation related to few letters. Say if you are also repeating the same mistake. So if you are repeating the same mistake, guys, it's a humble request from your trainer to avoid repeating your mistake. You can learn from your, your mistake, but never repeat your mistake. Yeah, you can repeat it, but again, while you are repeating your mistake, you have to learn from your mistake and avoid uh, doing the mistakes again. Clear? Now, I am pronouncing this uh, 26 letters. Focus on how I am pronouncing it. And just do the process and recall how you will pronounce these letters. Clear? So, I'm um, doing it right now, isn't it? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, D, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, X, P, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Clear. This is how you have to pronounce right. Once you know how to pronounce these letters, now upcoming our further sessions related to the pronunciation will become very easy for you all to do that pronunciation. Clear. So there was a film, okay, related to Telugu film, related to the uh, junior engineer, if you remember. So at the time, the tribal R is related, right? So when we, it is getting the Oscar and you realize that from the beginning when you watch the movie to till that Oscar, you are pronouncing it like R, 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 R. This is a common way every Indian will pronounce. R, 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 R. But if you observe when they are distributing the award, their pronunciation are different. It was like R, 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 R. This is how we have to pronounce or actually it's not R, it's R here. Yeah. So by this also you can learn your pronunciation guys by saying common, small, small or else uh, short uh, videos of the native speakers. With that also you can learn pronunciation skills. But what is the first skill that will come whenever you are learning any sort of languages? L S R W. Okay. L S R W. Clear. So Rahat many abhi samjaya hai students ko ki kitne letters hote hai English alphabet mein. English alphabet mein hote hai 26 letters. 26 bolte hai misse urdu mein. So kitne letters hote hai humare English language mein. Uska pronunciation bhi maine abhi kiya hai A to Z. Kaisa pronounce karna hai maine example bhi diya hai abhi related to ek movie ka naam lekar maine diya hai. Jaisa ki movie hai R R R. So hum ise pronounce kar rahe the kuch alag. Jaisa hi Oscar ko Oscar mila is film ko hume pata chala ki native speakers kaisa usse pronounce karte. So maine jab se yehi samjaya hai students ko. Clear. Dandrath, 
Okay. Now, again, whenever you are learning some language, guys, L, S, R, W is important. L is nothing but listening. S is nothing but speaking. R is nothing but reading. W is nothing but writing. Clear? These are the four skills whenever you are learning any language. Listening. Okay. Listening and hearing both are different, guys. Listening means if I am speaking, you all are listening. Now, how I am getting, how I am getting to know that, okay, you all are listening because whenever I will ask you the questions in the middle of the session, you all are will be available to give me the answer. That is nothing but you all are listening to me. Hearing is nothing but, guys, just, um, just say, uh, just listening how, that is, that is just, um, uh, observing what a person is saying, but you are not actually understanding what actually a person is saying. That is nothing but hearing. Okay, so listening here, we will focus on listening skills, right? Active listener. Whatever I am telling, you all are understanding. That is nothing but you all are having a skills. That is nothing but listening skills. Second will come by speaking skills. Okay, you done the listening. Now you have to Speak whatever you have listened. Now, the next will be R. That is nothing but reading. Reading related to the pronunciation. Here. Last will come the writing. Guys, why the last will come the writing? Means in this listening, speaking and reading, you will learn the grammar. You will learn how to form the words. You will learn how to form the sentences. That is why lastly, writing will go into come. Clear. So, Rahat, कोई भी language अगर आप सीख रहे हो, तो उसमें रहेगा L, S, R, W. L का मतलब है listening. इसको हम बोलेंगे उर्दू में या हिंदी में सुनना. Speaking मतलब बोलना. Reading मतलब पढ़ना. Writing मतलब लिखना. ठीक है, ये चार skills हर एक इंसान के पास रहना जरूरी है. Listening मतलब आप लोग मुझे सुन रहे हो. मुझे कैसा पता चलेगा आप लोग सुन रहे हो या नहीं मैं जब भी आप लोग को क्वेश्चन पूछूंगी आप लोग मुझे रिप्लाई दोगे इसका मतलब ये है कि मैं जो भी बोल रही हूँ आप लोग समझ रहे हो तो इस फॉर्म बोलेंगे लिजनिंग स्पीकिंग आएगा बोलना ओके आप लोग ने सुन लिया है मैंने क्या कहा अभी आप लोग कोई जो है प्रैक्टिस करोगे इस फॉर्म बोलेंगे बोलना रीडिंग पढ़ना पढ़ने में आता है प्रोनाउंसिएशन की कौन से वर्ड को कैसा हम बोलेंगे लास्ट आता है राहत राइटिंग राइटिंग का मतलब है लिखना क्योंकि अगर आपने सुनना स्टार्ट कर दिया है बोलना स्टार्ट कर दिया है पढ़ना भी स्टार्ट कर दिया है तो आपको लास्ट में आएगा लिखना ये हम ऑब्जर्व कर सकते हैं गाइड स्कूल किड्स में ओके इफ अफ अड इन नर्सरी हिल स्टार्ट फर्स्ट ही विल स्टार्ट द लिजनिंग स्किल सेकेंड ही विल स्टार्ट स्पीकिंग दैट लेटर्स Third, he will read by his own. Last, he will start writing it by tracing on the letters. Clear? So, we can learn from a small child. L, S, R, W. First, the child will hear what his mom is saying. Then, after that, what his mom will say, he will repeat it. What he will say, he will say. Then, after that, he will read it. Last, when he is growing up, he will say, 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 Clear Raad, I have explained this from now. Now, let's move to the form. Let's move forward. Okay, these are the basic words. Small, small words. There's like two-letter words, three-letter words, four-letter words, five-letter words that mostly we will use in our day-to-day -day conversation. So, these are the list. No, these are only the few lists, guys. There are many words which we will use in our day-to-day -day conversation. So, you have to learn that as well. Now, in my classes, I am going to teach you that as well. Now, among these all 26 letters, guys, 5 will be the vowels. And apart from that 5 letters, Others will be considered as the consonants. Clear? Now, let's see what are the five vowels. Here are the five vowels. That is 
A E I O E U. Whenever you are learning Telugu as well, A to Aha will be considered as a vowel. Same as if you are learning the Hindi language, A to Aha again be considered as a vowel. Okay. Swar we can say right in the Hindi or in Telugu we can say swar. Ah, uh, that is nothing but vowel, which means without that letters we cannot form a word. Okay, that is nothing but vowel. A a e e u u ru a i o a u am aha. These are the vowels of the Hindi language. Same as in the English language also we will have the vowels. That is nothing but a e i o q. Clear. So now the question here is right. Why we will call vowels and vowels as vowels? Why we cannot call vowels as consonants? Okay. So if you are having this doubt, let me make it very clear to you all. Right? Why we will call vowels as vowels? Because these A, E, I, O, U, five uh, vowels, these are mainly, that these are coming from our vocal cord. Vocal cord is nothing but the throat. Okay. Vocal cavity, these five alphabets or these five letters are coming. That is why it is related to the vocal. That is why it is considered as the vowel. If you want to really observe how these vowels are going to work, wait, take the two fingers, take two fingers, keep it on your throat. Okay, I'm also doing, you also try it, guys. Okay, keep it on your throat and just pronounce A, E, I, O, U. You can see the vibration in your vocal cord. Okay. Which means, what is this vibration trying to tell you? Which means, this vibration is trying to tell you that these letters, that is A, E, I, O, U, are directly coming from your throat, directly coming from your vocal point. Which means, there is a pressure on your vocal, but there is no push on A. Push on A, I am not a F. F sound is coming, which means air is coming, H, H, which means air is coming from my mouth. So, when I am pronounced A, E, I, O, U, only I can see the vibration, but there is no push of air. That is why these five letters are considered as vowel, vibration in the vocal cord. If you want to try with the consonant as well, just try it. Apart from A, E, I, O, U, keep your two fingers again on your throat. Go with B, C, D, A. There is no much vibration when it compares to the vowel. That is why vowel and consonant are different from each other. And without a vowels, we cannot form a sentences or a simple word. If you are telling, ma'am, I can say you, like, we can form a sense word uh, without vowels. Yes, we can form it, but only the few sentences. Example, fry, cry, try. We can do it, but few sentences only. We cannot completely form a sentence without the vowels, guys. Clear? Any doubt, guys? Please raise your hand. Even if I am in the middle of the session, I am going to stop it. First, I am going to clear your query, then I will move forward, please. Huh. Clear? So, Rahat, abhi hum discuss kar rahe hai, related to the vowels. A, E, I, U, O, O, U is punch. Okay, five letters ko hum bolenge vowels. Vowels kaisa different hai? Consonant se means, agar aap vowel, agar aap pronounce karoge, apni gale par do fingers rakkar, agar aap dekhoge, to aapko vibrations aayenge. Iska matlab hai, A, E, I, O, U, directly aapke vocal point se aaraha hai. Isliye, hum isko bolenge vowel. 
अगर आप वावल्स के अलावा दूसरे भी लेटर्स से हमारे अगर आप वो प्रोनाउंस करोगे सेम फिंगर्स रख कर अपने थ्रोट पर तो आपको ज्यादा वाइब्रेशंस नहीं मिलेंगी और बिना वावल्स के हम लोग कंप्लीट सेंटेंसेस कभी फॉर्म नहीं कर पाएंगे क्लियर हमें आ, कोई भी सेंटेंस फॉर्म करने के लिए ये फाइव वावल्स की जरूरत कंपल्सरी पड़ेगी क्लियर तो मैंने यही समझाया है रिलेटेड टू द okay so uh, when you are telling a just do it guys you will get to know how it is uh, changing do it a e so whenever i am doing this my feet are not meeting each other guys okay they are not meeting each other but they are forming a sound that is a e i okay now comes to the o my feet are uh, sorry not the feet my lips are going in a round shape that is o where it comes to u okay again u means i am opening my mouth okay more than like a o sound i am opening it and forming it as a u sound so this is how the vowel circle will going to form a e i o u a e i o u you can also practice you will get to know how this vowel circle is going to work now comes to the vowel sound guys this vowels will make two sound that is long sound and the short sound if you want to do the practice you can see short sound means without doing any pressure these sounds are coming uh, easily from our mouth okay if you want to practice just go for it guys see that is apple cat that net fish pick crop dog sun jump without any making without any stress i am just telling it clear now for longer it will be like b e i am just stressing it b feed play clay by fly boy boot zoo how i am stressing it so this is this is the difference between the short vowel sound and a long vowel sound guys clear so short vowel sound we can say uh, usually pronounced for shorter duration and with a more closed mouth okay whereas long vowel sound are pronounced for longer duration and with more open mouth position if you want to try try it guys clear done so this is related to the vowel related to the short sound and the long sounds guys okay then so other examples if you want me to give see related to a cat mat sat hat rat mad man bad lad now comes to e bed let bed pen then men let net wet pet get related to i fit with hit 
Lip, sing, sing, pin, pin, win. Related to O, pot, got, hot, rod, pot, cot, lock. Related to U, pan, run, sun, hot, nut, shut, cut, mud. Clear. So these are the long and short vowel sounds related to the A, E, I, O, U. And I hope till here my all students understand. If any of you having a query, just let me know, guys. I am going to help you out. Here, you can see more examples here apart from what are the examples which I have to tell you all. So, these are, uh, these are the others examples you can see on your screen. Long, long sounds. Okay. Now, apart from that five letters, others will be considered as the consonants. See the consonants is on your screen, guys. That is B, C, D, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, V, W, X, Z. What is the one thing here you are observing? Can anyone figure it out? One thing is missing here. Any idea why it is missing? Or else let me know what is missing here in the consonant. Why, ma'am? Why? Tell me. What is one thing here we all are missing, guys? Letter Y, ma'am. Any idea what we all are missing here? Yes, correct, Sana. Yes, Krishna, correct. We are missing Y here. The reason why I am missing Y here? Any reason? Okay, let me tell you the reason, guys, why Y is missing here because Y is also considered as a vowel. Okay, now if you are having a confusion, why uh, it is called as a vowel means, guys, because it will fit in the uh, vowels category. Why it will fit means if you see the words like my, cry, fly, buy. What is the sound here coming here? Why sound is coming here? That is why why is acting as a vowel in these cases. And why is considered as a vowel, guys. Okay. When you see uh, uh, in Greek language, okay, why is always considered as a, yeah, we can say Raj, yes, I and W as semi vowels, yes. We can say yes, correct answer. Okay, so in the Greek language, Y is always considered as a vowel. So it is that that is the reason Y is considered as a vowel. Now, another thing here given by Raha that is Y and W is considered as a semi vowel. So, what do you mean by semi-vowel? Okay, guys. Semi-vowel is nothing but having the characteristics of Y. Oh, sorry, vowels. Having the characteristics of vowels. Because whenever you are pronouncing some words, guys, uh, you will find that instead of focusing on the vowel sound, you will focus on the W and Y sound. That is why Y and W will be considered as a semi-vowel sound. Clear? So, this is regarding the Y and W. 
examples guys related to the y and w related to y yes y sound is coming yogurt my related to w wet word w sound water or else cow word w sound is coming so these two are considered as a semi vowel clear okay let's see the consonants as well so guys uh, whenever there is a consonant and vowel don't focus on the words okay don't focus on the words for example here if you can see yak y a k yak you will be like ma'am it is the word is starting with the y so we will going to say it as a vowel no this is not how the vowels uh, will going to work okay guys whenever uh, you will say like this word is a vowel sound this word is having a consonant sound how we will get to know by the pronunciation we will get to know guys clear when there is a vowel sound sound instead of focusing on the letter you have to focus on the sound if there is a vowel sound in a word then it will be considered as a vowel then again if this the word starting with any of the vowel but there is no vowel sound then it will be considered as a consonant so basically the most important thing here is whenever you are you are focusing on the vowels or consonants instead of focusing on the letters you have to focus on the sounds guys okay this is how it will going to work now more examples related to the vowel sound guys see bed okay b a d bad cat kick dog fat got these are the few sounds related to the consonant and see others as well now comes to the diphthongs and blends we use this diphthongs and blends guys in our day to day conversation but we don't know like uh, what is diphthongs or else what is blends so let me give you a short information related to diphthongs and blends now diphthongs are nothing but the guys in a word okay there will be more than one vowel sound will be there that is nothing but diphthongs example we can say food f o o d food here if you observe there are two o's okay two vowels are here but when i am pronouncing it i am making only one vowel sound i can say because two vowels two z o o is there i can say like f f o d which means i am making two vowel sound here but even if there are two vowels i have to go with only one vowel sound that is nothing but diphthong so instead of saying like f o d and saying food only one vowel sound i am doing same related to the cooey again one o only one vowel sound is coming i will not say it like k o o o l call no that will be wrong pronunciation so there will be two vowels sound two vowels present in a word but i am going to make only one vowel sound that is nothing but our diphthong same as the rule same applies to the consonant instead of uh vowel here we will use the consonant see here first example block there are more than one consonant in that word block but i am not separately focusing on one 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 pronunciation no i am focusing only in uh, like we are making a sound related to the one consonant like block ba sound i am only focusing on ba block done so it means even if you are having more than two consonants in your word you have to make only one sound why i am not saying bl a o k means separately b l o o k 
no this is wrong so i am making only one sound that is block so this is the difference between the diphthongs and blends will be there guys okay clear now examples related to the blend simple example guys blue blue clap close okay blue blue glove play please guys if you also want to give the example from your side you can give that okay i'll say or not but if you are really interested to give the example you can use the chat box or else i have given the permission to each and every student to unmute they can unmute as well okay sweet spray spray these are related to the blend now related to the diphthong it's like oi toy out ouch re raw took so these are the examples related to the diphthong and blend clear guys did here clear any doubt let me know if there is any doubt clear if it's clear give me a yes in a chat box please It will comes under both uh, sana that is diphthongs as well as normal catcher kids. Okay, so instead of telling it as a diphthongs, we can tell it as a normal category as well, which means normal vowel word. Okay. Okay, thank you, Rat, for the confirmation. You said yes. Okay, that's very good. Hmm. Okay, okay, Sana. Thank you. We can go for the diphthongs moon, M double O N. Moon. Book. Draw. Now. These are the examples of diphthongs. Okay. Now let's move forward related to the digraphs. So what do you mean by digraph here? Digraph. Any ideas? Okay, diphthongs, blends, ma'am, just said. What do you mean by digraph then? then Any idea? Okay, Sana, no idea. Okay, I'll tell, I'll tell you. So here, digraphs are nothing but the guys. Two letters, okay, the C and H. Combining together and making a one sound. That is nothing but digraph it means it is a combination of two letters that will combine together to make only one sound that is nothing but our digraph c h is a so instead of dif differently telling c and h i am going to mix this together and say it as sham same sh shelf s h mixing together and make a sure sound shelf same as t and h Mixing together and forming the sound. Thin. Same. WH. Mixing together and making the sound. WH. Whale. Same as PH. Mixing together and making a sound like P. P. Same as NG also. Mixing together and forming another sound. That is what? Nug. Sing. Sang. Rang. Okay. That is nothing but digraph. 
two words that is two not the words two letters that will combine together to form it as a one sum that is nothing but our digraph okay it will include ch sh th wh ng ph q u q u also it will include guys q u q u okay related to the q u it's like q it will going to form a word q and you are forming and making a q for example queen question you sound is coming okay that is nothing but uh digraph so what is the importance of digraph is nothing but guys in reading skills and spelling skills these digraphs are going to be uh important part of your language that is why i am explaining the digraphs because in the upcoming classes whenever we'll go with the reading sessions or else conversation sections or else spelling session you must know what are digraphs okay so this is related to the digraphs now let's move forward that is upper case and lower case don't be confused with the upper and lower upper is nothing but capital letters lower is nothing but small letters these upper and lower case guys mostly you can see whenever you are uh, fulfilling a document related to some official purpose it will be given in a bracket bracket fill in upper case fill in lower case so upper cases are nothing but capital letters lower case are nothing but small letters clear now another thing is how a word is going to form combination of letters will form a word same as combination of words will form a sentence again combination of sentences will form a paragraph example here no ma'am given by sana n is a letter o is a letter these two letters are combining together and forming a word as n o no same as words form a sentence we can say take the example of uh, Sumaya only that is include in which category? I N C L U D E include. This is the one word I N in another word which another word category in is another word. These four words combining together and forming as a sentence. Clear. Normal example or a general example if you want me to give English. E is separate, N is separate, G is separate. Mixing together E, N, G, L, I, S, H. That is nothing but forming a word. If I am telling English is a global language. English is a global language. These five words combining together and forming a sentence. Say this is the one sentence. English is a global language everyone is learning english and it is creating a good opportunities for them these three sentences i combine together and form it as a paragraph paragraph what was my first sentence english is a growing language what is my second sentence everyone is learning it third because uh, it will create many opportunities so these three sentences combining together and forming a paragraph okay that is nothing but our this all how letter how words will going to form how sentences will going to form how paragraph will going to form and i hope i am clear with this done Any doubt, guys? Here? I hope there is no doubt. Yes, ma'am. Clear. Thank you, Sana and others for the confirmation. 
see example here ram is a good guy first sentence he is my best friend second sentence i like him a lot third sentence these three sentences are combining together and forming a paragraph okay the same it is showing in a different making difference and telling it in a different form same 15 words, 42 letters are combining together and forming this one. Silent words are different, Krishna. Okay, that related to the silent words, we will going to see in our upcoming sessions that will be related to the pronunciation. These silent letters will come under the pronunciation. So you have to wait uh, till that class. Okay, that is related to the uh, pronunciation. But if you want me to give a little bit introduction related to the silent words, yes, I will give you. Okay. Okay, so... Silent words refers to the, okay, so silent words refers to the words that will contain the letters, guys, uh, that is not spoken or else that is not uh, pronounced while doing the pronunciation. That is nothing but silent words. Example here is psychology. So, how it will going to be written? P-S-Y-C-H-O-N-O-G-Y. This is how it is written. But while we are pronouncing it, we are telling it as a psychology, which means P is silent here. That is nothing but our silent letter, which means in a word, uh, one letter will be uh, not pronounced while speaking or doing the pronunciation. That is nothing but silent words. In detail, we will going to see in our upcoming sessions that will be a one hour of class related to the pronunciation and spelling. Example, one of the example related to the silent word I have given that is psychology. Another will also be there, guys. That is nothing but knife. N I F P. Instead of telling K knife, we'll say as as uh, it as knife. Why? Because Y is uh, sorry K is silent here. Others will also be there, guys. Right? Example: night K N I G H T. But will be considered it as a knife. Clear. Same as ya yeah, correct uh, rahat. That is no. That is wrong. Uh, w R and wrong. Instead of telling wrong, we'll say wrong. Same as island. Instead of telling Iceland, we'll say it as a island. So these are a few of the examples of silent words. Clear, Krishna? Welcome, Krishna. Yes. So Done, guys. Any, uh, anyone else? Yes, neighbor. B R R U is silent here. So this is what we have done in our today's class. Done, guys. So before ending our session, if my any of my students having a doubt please ask me now guys you can ask me now if you have any doubt one minute of time i'm giving you all just process whatever things you want to ask me related to the spoken english session let me know i'm going to help you out in this one minute so just process anything related to the course Anything related to your trainer, any doubt, any queries, or in any of the specific areas you want me to focus more, please let me know. That will be very important for me so that I can uh, go up in the upcoming classes. I can help you all in that 
please those who have not joined the whatsapp community join it guys because from there only you will get the updates related to our course okay and payment link i'm going to give guys because only today you will get the uh, recording from tomorrow you won't get the recording okay only recordings will be get to the students those who will do the payment same as if you want the notes again it will only be sent to those students who have done the payment clear so before ending the session just remember that guys believe in yourself okay now it is uh, difficult to learn not not that much difficult to learn guys but try your best and whatever the time we are spending together from 6 to 7 uh, am make sure that we will going to use that time as much as possible and uh, don't forget your trainer is here to help you out from 6 to 7 am clear this is very important guys done any doubts guys anything you want to discuss come on let's discuss now anything if you want to discuss please let me know yeah all are satisfied all are ready to join our tomorrow session give a yes in a chat box please if you all are excited to join our tomorrow session uh, yes, from Sana, okay. Soumya, Krishna, very good, okay. So, for tomorrow's recording, you have to do the payment as well, guys. Done. I want my students to be with me till the end of the batch so that I can help you out, guys, as much as possible in your communication skills, in your any skills in which you all are lacking behind. Okay, that is that will be very important for me. Student satisfaction are very important for me. Okay, so whenever you will have a doubt or a query, please ask me. Do not hesitate or don't be shy, guys, when you will ask. Clear, guys? So that is very important here. You want... Okay. want my introduction okay sana see hello everyone my name is aisha you can call me ma'am or else by my name i was born in hyderabad and staying in hyderabad i have completed my graduation in the course we come computers i have also done my graduation in bachelor's of education as well as i have completed my master's in english literature related to the arts and in the upcoming days i would like to do phd and there are six members in my family and my likes are, I am a non-veg person, so I mostly like the non-veg dishes. One of my favorite dessert is ice cream, any kind of flavor, but I mostly prefer a butterscotch. Okay. And I like mm. dog, but I'm afraid of dog as well because it's been going to bite you. Okay, and my favorite sport is football. Uh, I, ca I will not say the cricket because I don't understand it. In my free time, I will watch some animation movies or else watch some broadcast interviews related to one of my favorite celebrities or uh, mostly, mostly Hollywood. Not the favorite, but in my leisure time i would like to see that kind of interviews and my dream job was to become an english lecturer and i have achieved it already 
okay being a part of the logic labs technologies as well as being a trainer for my all brilliant student till that whatever the batches i have taken i have achieved my dream and that's all for now guys thanks for listening i hope you all will also give the same introduction whenever i'll ask you for the introduction okay thank you everyone sure ma'am okay krishna okay ma'am so this was my a little information uh, that is nothing but my self introduction okay this is how you also have to give the self introduction right whenever some person says you to give your introduction clear then official whatsapp group i have already given in our chat box this is related to the query asked by krishna i have i have given the thing related to that in the chat box okay if you want to note down you can note down it guys okay so this is this is all in our day two session and i am very glad to meet you all and i wish that we will be together till the end of the batch and i can help you all as much as possible from my side only one thing i want to make sure here guys please never be hesitate to ask your queries always be confident even if you are telling wrong i am here to help you to make it right but only one thing we have to here and deal is nothing but we should not repeat the same mistake again so that's all in our today's class i hope tomorrow also you all will join okay so that's it guys i am going to end the session here till that take care of yourself eat healthy stay healthy okay have a nice tuesday to you all and good night because we're not going to meet in the evening so in the morning only i'm telling you all good night and have a sweet dream and work hard but don't stress yourself guys okay bye bye take care see you tomorrow at 6 am ist bye bye guys take care thank you ma'am thank you krishna welcome everyone bye bye take care of yourself